Welcome back to the House of Monkey Fat. This time I think I'll showcase some of my PC cards. I've only got four basketball. I don't even know why I have them after I found them. But a bunch of baseball. Then I'll make a separate video for my football for you all. So first in basketball, I liked him back in the day. So I got Joel Prisbilla. Um, game used uniform and a piece of game used floor which is odd but I got it and then same with Glenn the big dog Robinson game used floor game used jersey and a facsimile ticket with his picture on it as well I used to like the big dog not as much as Ray Allen the only cards I have of him are graded I actually have the Upper Deck SP in a PSA 10. In fact, most of my basketball cards are graded. These are the only four I have loose. Now, on to the fun stuff. First, we're going to showcase some of the inserts I've collected throughout the years. Some good and some not so good. We got Richie Sexton, Game Worn Jersey. Ben Sheets, Game Worn Jersey, Richie Sexton, Bat. I believe Sexton was the one that actually dented the foul pole in the brand new Miller Park. And that was a shot. That was huge. These are cool. Legend of the Game, Game Used Jersey, Robin Yount, Pinstripe, Robin Yount, Hall of Famer, Game Used Bat. Another Robin Yount, Legendary Bat. Game used. Robin Yount and Jeremy Burnett's. The Yount, another pinstripe. Burnett's, just a regular swatch of game used jerseys. And a Richie Sexton game used wall. No idea. I mean, it's about as intelligent as the floor cards for basketball. Now, let's move on. <coughs> I have a couple of team sets. Keston here, rookie card on top. It's the whole team that they produced for the holiday box at the end of last year. So I built a couple of Brewers team sets out of there. Next, we'll move on a couple of cards you've seen before. My collection of Nelson Cruz, Nelly Cruz rookie cards. 402 home runs. I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Brewers. In his Team USA or Team World Team jersey. Then we can move right along to when I was doing baseball card shows and I met him. I got Kel Eldred's Prospects card autographed. Man, I wish he could have kept it up. He was on a good track and doing great things. But, you know, all good things come to an end. Next, my Christian Yelich pile. There's one from the team set from the Holiday Series. Just a bunch of his newer cards here. None of the short prints. Nothing spectacular except for the one. I don't know if you can see it in there. That was crimped in the package. To me, a one of one. Then I have uh, Tyrone Taylor, followed by, that's a rookie card. And uh, Chase Anderson Chrome card. Then, along with those, I have a couple of Trent Grisham rookie cards, not even a Brewer. And because I like him, a couple of really cool Cecil Fielder cards. And I have his autograph on an ETOPS card, certified and numbered, back in my room. I may showcase those as well someday. Now, for Ryan Braun cards, I do have three of this year's, but you'll notice they're without the Topps logo. Uh, if, if I can find one real quick, I'll show you where the normal logo should be. Here, use the Yelich, for example. See the Topps logo right there? The, these I pulled out of packs, three Brauns, no logo variation. Really cool cards. I enjoy them. A couple of Brewers team cards from this year's tops. We got Hira and throwing a little Haterade with Josh Hater. 
I like that. And then there's the Brewers team card itself. Pretty cool. Not worth a hill of beans, but I like them a lot. How about who may get some Hall of Fame consideration before all said and done just because of some of the other guys getting in there? My right, Gary Sheffield rookies. A couple of the Bowman. A couple of score. That first one was the score exclusive to, I think it was Rack Packs, the young superstars. A couple of the upper deck. A couple of nice... Donruss, a couple of nice Fleer, and everyone's favorite, the Tops. It's actually a pretty nice looking card, just not worth much now. But, fingers crossed, you never know. Then, keeping up with the rookies, there's all my Keston here's, including ones you've seen today or in other videos. There's all my Chrome prospect ones of him I was mentioning earlier. It was really, really nice. Um, his rookie cards from that um, holiday set. Those are really nice. Some more regular Bowman prospects and Bowman draft picks, which I think we saw earlier. There's a whole bunch of those. Then these, I believe I only have one of each, but there's his USA card. There's another Bowman. There he is uh, with Corbin Burns on a Pipeline Chrome card. How about him, Dar Daryl Miller and Mitch Lungo on uh, Minor League Batting Leaders. Bowman, Tops, Tops. Tops, Pro Debut, more Bowman, Rated Rookie, and from this year got the Roll Call insert from Daddy Daughter Card Breaks along with this one when I got the Brewers team set from them. Not team set, it was in a team break of theirs. Now, the good ones here, the Hall of Famers. And again, most of these I will have um, graded or already graded. But here's the loose ones. I have three of the Raleigh Fingers from 84 Tops. I still love that one there. That's just a sharp looking card. 85 Donners, 82 Tops in action. There he is with Jim Palmer and Ron Guidry. Then we'll go into Don Sutton. And Sutton with Jim Palmer and Tommy John. That's pretty sweet. The 85 Tops Diamond Kings. Here's Ted Simmons, Reggie Jackson, Greg Nettles. Yes, he made the Hall of Fame this year. And there's an oldie but a goodie. That's original. That's a Lou Burdett. I believe those are the 55 Bowman. The Woodgrain TV set bot cards. Those are really sweet. Next up, we have Paul Molitor. 85 Donners, 82 Tops, there's the 89 Fleer All-Star, 84 Tops, 86 Fleer, 89 Tops, I think that's 82 Tops, 81 Tops, sorry. Playing card, a couple of his 89 Fleer and 84 Tops. When he came up, and if you notice on his rookie card with Alan Trammell, it's a... Uh, future shortstops rookie card because back in the day Robin Yount they thought and he had expressed interest that he was going to play professional golf and he was their shortstop so they had to quickly run out and draft another one and they got Paul Mulder well they convinced Yount to stay and look what happened to Mulder as well he went from short to second to uh, third to first to DH and just an incredible Hall of Fame career. And the Younts. 85 Donruss. There's the record breakers. He holds the record, or at least at the, did the time of this printing, with 87 extra base hits for a shortstop. Most extra base hits, and he did that in 82. There's a Leaf Gold, which is pretty, pretty good. The regular tops, never mind that. I'm just reusing sleeves. 
the 83 Flare all, or Tops All Star from the 84 Rack Pack. You'll see another one of those in a bit. That's a cool card, even though it's a classic. I really like those. 82 Tops, more of these, which you've seen. I have some of those graded. The 80, or yeah, the early Stadium Club. 89 Upper Deck, some of the Junk Wax Flare, Donruss, and Tops 84. Okay, just a few things left. I do have a couple of packs <clears throat> that they gave out in 1993, Brewers Memorable Moments. They're given out by Pick and Save, which I do believe Brewers Cards Forever would know up there. That's the local grocery store chain, and they are unopened. This one is perfect mint. This one had something on it, but I checked them out. They're still sealed. They're fine. Oh, not Pick and Save Century. That's our other big food store up there. Sorry about that. I should have read the back first, but eh, who likes reading? <clears throat> Here's two of the large Donruss. I can't even remember exactly what year these were put out. Baseball champions. There's Hank Aaron. And there's one with my boy, the kid, Robin Yount. Yes, he was the kid before Junior. Griffey Junior, that is. A few more unopened packs. Here's 86 tops. That cards are actually upside down the pack. That's no big deal. Robin Yount on the bottom. And Tommy John A's on the top. Here's a pack with Gary Sheffield on the top. And here's one with a Paul Mulder All-Star Fleer 89 on the bottom. And finally, here's a Paul Mulder, this is 89 Tops rack pack. No one else good. There's a Conseco on the back. Oh, another brewer, Daryl Hamilton. Rest in peace. There's a Robin Yount, Dwight Gooden from 89 Fleer. And there's what I was talking about. Got an 84 Tops with Robin Yount, the All Star. Willie Wilson, Bob Baylor. Hey, Pete Rose. That's good. Brad Mayhews and Billy Martin. So, Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer, should be Hall of Famer, right there in rows. Here's an 89 Donruss with a Gary, or 90 Donruss rather, with Gary Sheffield in the middle of it. And finally, 88 tops with Bill Schroeder. He's a brewer, so I kept it. Bo Jackson, Terry Kennedy, Alejandro Pena, Robin Yount. So that's a double brewer pack again. Bill Schroeder, Robin Yount, and Charlie O'Brien. Holy cow. A three brewer unopened rack pack with that. And that was Charlie O'Brien's rookie card. Well, that's it for this. I'm going to clean up and um, think about posting another video. Get some more stuff together for my 50 subscriber giveaway. And more information to come when I post that video. Same rules as everyone has. Must be a subscriber. Comment on that video. And um, hit the like button. And I will check them out. And kids, I will be back later. Peace.